think this would be the third mm. question. <laughs> How do I make people act and not just listen? So I'll put it here. It's, how do I make people act and not just listen? Mm. Interesting. Oh. So I, I, will, I will answer this first and uh, I'll keep my answer very brief and very short too. Um, <laughs> two, two to three points I just want to share. The first one is uh, many a times people listen is when the speaker does not give enough opportunities for the audience members to act. Meaning to say the speaker will rattle on and on all the way for maybe one, two, three, four, five hours. And then there's no pockets of uh, time or pockets of activities where the participants could potentially practice, act, apply the techniques that you have taught. So what we do as speakers, the first one is how you get people to act is to, at the, first, at the start, in the first place, create pockets of opportunities for participants to apply. Every now and then for us, it could be every 10 minutes and when we go on to a new concept and unpack that concept, we can ask the audience, okay, so at this point in time, could you discuss with the person next to you and share with the person, how is this useful in your work? Right? So asking questions like these, help them draw the relevance on their own. Help them draw the relevance because every one of them have different backgrounds. So get them to draw the relevance on, on, on their own and then they share that, oh, you know, I'm in the finance industry and this is how the technique works for me. Or I'm in the public speaking industry and this is how the technique works for me. So pockets of such opportunities. The second one that gets people to act is to, I always call it the low-lying fruit, which means make it easy for people to act. Otherwise, the inertia is very high. Uh, to lower the bar, lower the inertia, to get them to act is to make it easy to act. Instead of saying things like, oh, okay, go out there and rehearse and practice more. That is, that is sound advice. No one can disagree with you, but oftentimes it's not clear enough to what are the immediate steps they can take. So what you can do is you can tell them that, okay, the next thing you do is to make sure you have your phone with you and uh, video record your performance and I'd like you to play it back twice or three times. And this is what you look up for. So it's very, very clear what you need to do. The clearer it is, the easier it is for the audience members to follow. When you have clear sets of instructions, it's like giving your audience a manual, an operating manual on how to be a better speaker, on how to really take massive action. That is, that is one, one very good way that you can apply straight away. So that is, you know, giving you very detailed, specific advice. <laughs> uh, the, the, the third one to get people to act is leverage. Uh, what, what, what I usually say is that there's, there's a friend of mine who wanted to publish a book and said that publishing a book typically takes nine months. So uh, we all read somewhere. Uh, I can't recall specifically the name of the publication. If I, if I know it, I'll let you guys know. Uh, basically, it's now not uh, something new. It's, it's something that's been heard of many times uh, everywhere. It's called leverage. When you leverage and you post on a platform that a lot of people can hold you accountable, most of the time, Facebook, Instagram, and you say that in nine months from now, I'm going to publish my book or I'm going to have my first manuscript out in nine months. And I'd like you all to keep me accountable. I'll be posting monthly updates. So this in a way leverages on your support base, on your community, to hold you accountable that I really don't want to fail, much less when I put my resolution out there for everyone to see. I don't want to fail and I don't want to not follow up with my resolution in public. So there's a stronger incentive for you to act. If you find it hard for you to hold yourself accountable, which is often the case with procrastination and whatnot, then you could, you could get the help from people around you. Yeah, if you get a help from people around you to hold you in a way accountable and then to leverage on that to uh, help you act rather than just to read advice, listen to advice, yeah, or to watch advice in the form of a video. Acting on it is the one that really gets you somewhere. So, so those are my three uh, quick tips and uh, over nice. to you. Bro. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree as well. Uh, and I would just maybe emphasize one more point, uh, which is to, in a sense, to get people to act, you have to appeal to their selfish reason uh, intentions and what i mean by this is to make it clear what is the benefit for them uh, to carry out that act or to uh, you know apply it to their day-to-day -day setting instead of just listening it and uh, releasing it after the speech or after the presentation so uh, finding out exactly why uh, or rather giving the why to your uh, audience members to your client whoever it is that you're talking to give them a reason why they should actually follow up with that action it can be as simple as uh, for example uh, 
setting, painting a picture where the audience or the individual is left behind if they don't take action. Uh, that is some of the ways uh, sales staff, for example, they try to frame their pictures. Uh, they try to at first highlight a movement or a shift in the world. Uh, like the economy is now moving virtual, right? So if you don't move virtual, you'll be left behind. So instead of just them taking in the information, they are now given an impetus, a reason or rationale for them to actually take action. Uh, and that action is not just for the sake of action, it appeals to their selfish intention in the sense that it benefits them directly. So asking yourself when you are preparing your speech or your presentation or even a pitch, uh, what exactly will benefit your uh, customer, your client, whoever it is that you're talking to, give them the exact reason, make it clear to them why this will actually uh, change for them, why they will, this will benefit them directly, and then uh, like remember like, what you said, all these different elements can also flow in as well, which is giving them something like a low-lying fruit, something easy for them to carry out and all that. Yeah. But yeah, so that'd be the main point I want to emphasize. Awesome, awesome. Thank you nice. very much, bro. Yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching mm. and uh, we look forward to seeing you all next week.